First question to go to Christina McConnell with the Seattle Post. Brilliant first game. How does Chet's injury affect your game plan going forward? And how do you approach game two in hostile territory? It's, it's, it's hard to say because we've always played them with Chet Holmgren and we're not, we're more or less focused on the Odin Dermanenko injury other than the Chet injury because how they're going to rebound without Chet, that's their issue. Um, but now we lack big man depth and guys like Chester Lewis and guys like Jason Taylor have to step up in the absence of Odin Dermanenko. And I mean, the Chet Holmgren injury, I don't want to wish harm on anyone, but it helps us out. Um, it helps our burden of trying to figure out a um, figure out our big man our big man uh, replacement rotation. It makes the decision a lot easier because we don't have to deal with um, an All NBA caliber center like Chet Holmgren. So, I mean, I don't want to say it's going to be easy and it makes our life easier, even though it does make our life easier. But they're still the Thunder, and they still have Shea, they still have Giddy, they still have. Um, Josh Hart, they still have Julius Randle, so they have guys that can give us problems. So they're without Chet Holmgren, but I think that it's still going to be um, very difficult without Ada Dermanenko out there on the floor. The second question will go to Naldo Brown with the Washington Times. Even though your team came out with the win, Bones Highlands was a defensive liability. How will you look to improve that for Game 2 and going forward? Yeah, and I mean, I think the defensive liability title or label is a little unfair to Bones. I mean, he's doing what he can. He's not a very big guard. He's not the biggest guard in the world. And against guards of guards of the, at the height of Shea and at the height of uh, Giddy, I mean, like, they're, it's going to be hard on Bones. Um, granted, Shamar Harvey did give him a lot of trouble um, in that Phoenix series, but um, we're going to make adjustments. Um, I don't want to put anyone on the team down, but Bones Highland will not be starting. Um, for game two, he's going to be coming off the bench and on limited minutes because they're a very, the Thunder are a very guard-heavy team, so especially with Chet Holmgren and Xavier Booker um, out with injuries possibly for the series. We're going to have to game plan to defend guards really well, and Bones, is just, that's just not something he does well. Nothing against Bones, just defense, defense isn't what he does best. Um, so our rotation for game two to see if it works is going to be Nick Smith going to take over the ball handling and the offense, and he's going to be the run the point guard. Um, and then we're going to bring in the perimeter defense and three-point shooting of Austin Carrico um, to run the shooting guard for game two at least. And if it works out well, we'll bring it back to Seattle for game three and um, try to go up 3-0 or 2-1. So we'll, it, we'll see how tonight goes um, with this new lineup. And obviously without Adam Dermanenko out there, Miles Turner is going to return to the starting five. And um, Chester Lewis and Jayshon Tate will see some run tonight because... Obviously, Adit Dermanenko is going to be out for the rest of the season. So, um, it's going to be tough. And the third question will go to Cash Lenzen with the Seattle Mariner. How will Adin's injury affect your game plan for the rest of the series? Right. Kind of piggybacking off of um, my last answer. Um, Adin Dermanenko, he's a big piece. Like, he puts up 20, 30 a game in the playoffs. So, um, losing a seven foot guy, a seven foot plus guy who can shoot at an elite level, who can defend and hold his own in the paint, um, is definitely not ideal, especially when they lost Chet Holmgren. Not losing Auden would have been um, a big like checkmate right there because we still have all of our depth and they're without an all NBA caliber center. So losing Auden Dermanenko is tough, but um, this is where legends are made. Injuries happen, and um, Chester Lewis and Jay Sean Tater are just going to have to step up in the absence. Um, Jay Sean Tate's going to see some minutes tonight. Chester Lewis is going to see some minutes tonight, both making their playoff debuts for the Seattle Sound. Um, next man up mentality. It's just what you have to do if you want to be a contending team. Um, next man up, when one guy goes down, another steps up. When Gary Trent went down, Pat Connaughton stepped up and Carrico stepped up and um, so on and so on. And when Bones isn't holding his own defensively, Markell stepped up and everyone around us just steps up when others lack. And the, the situation is no different. Thanks. Got a cardi on me popping when I shoot, I never miss. She gon' ask if I'm in love, I never lie, I plead the fifth. Only want me cause I'm icy and I'm pricey with the fifth. Oh. Okay, so I want to welcome all of you absolutely beautiful Bebo's back to another episode of the 14th Expansion Shadow Sound Miley on the 
channel before I get started. Always make sure to love below. down below. It's free and all this helps the community grow on the road to 5k. Now, in the last one, we got a ton of comments before I get into a recap. The first one's from Sun God. He said, Cannot wait for game two. This series is going to be a battle and it is going to be one for the ages with Chet Holmgren out. It kind of levels the playing field just a little bit for the series. The second comment from Riley. Um, he also says he'd like to add a player for next year. He said a 7-2 power forward is a defensive beast with a little bit of offense named Wilt Chamberlain Jr. Since this draft, usually I'd say no. But since this draft class is really thin in terms of uh, user players, or subscriber players, sorry, we're going to make it happen for you. Plus, we're going to do cash lensons um, after this one. So let's get right into it. And here is Wilt Chamberlain Jr. Next, we're going to jump right to cash lensin. Could you make me a player? His name is Amani Juno, who's a 6'6 shooting guard, but plays like Steph Curry, of course. Let's do that one. And then... Um, we're going to read two, three more comments, and then we're going to get into today's episode and recap the former episode. So, let's do it. And here is Imani Juno, the 6'6 point guard who plays like Steph Curry. Next, we have Mike. He said, also, you're the MVP. He says, sick as fuck, but I'm back. Think I'm caught up. Also, you're the MVP of NBA 2K23, which am I the MVP of 2K23? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to take any title. Dre Drexler also said, fire with three fire emojis. Now... In the last one, we beat the Oklahoma City Thunder by a 14-point margin game when I didn't realize it was that big of a margin. Nick Smith with 37 and 17, and Austin Karakov came out big with a 35-point game freaking one. Auden Dermanenko put up 10 points in 9 minutes before he went down with a season-ending injury, which is it's not ideal. Auden Dermanenko is going to be out for the rest of this season. So we're going to have to deal without him. And then the Oklahoma City Thunder also lost Chet Holmgren. But Chet Holmgren is going to be back in two to four weeks. So we're going to hope that we can close out the series without Adam Dermanenko or Gary Trent Jr. If we have to call up Johnny Tabroni to play a little bit of minutes, we will. But we have another game in Oklahoma City. Now, I feel like personally, we took care of business in game one in terms of winning a game on the road. We needed to win a game on the road. Since we don't have home court, we needed to win a game on the road, and we did just that in game one. Now, we, we're going to have to cope with little big man depth. Um, Adam Dermanenko is kind of our guy in terms of big man depth, so I don't know exactly what we're going to do there. I mean, Jay Sean Tate's obviously going to get some minutes, but Adam was our guy. Miles Turner is going to play heavy shifts, and then Johnny, T actually, is Chester Lewis. Chester Lewis is a big man. He's a seven-footer. He's going to get some minutes uh, at the center position. We're going to see how Chester Lewis can fill in Adam Dermanenko's shoes. Regardless, we got game two. The, the Thunder are heavily banged up, especially compared to us. So, we'll see how this is going to go. I'm actually going to change our starting five a little bit. Nick Smith Jr. is going to be our primary point guard. And then Austin Karakov is going to be our starting two guard um, for the rest of the Thunder series. We're going to see how it goes if we get out of this series but i'm gonna have Car or nick smith start at the one just because he's been our top scorer and our primary scorer through this since we've drafted him so he's going to be the primary ball handler the offense is running through him and then karakov is going to take a spot at the two and we're hopefully we can fill in those defensive gaps from game one now sound thunder in oklahoma city our five is nick smith austin karakov scotty barnes jaron jackson and miles turner their five is shea giddy josh hart julius randall and jarris walker sound thunder at the paycom center once again we took one in game one in oklahoma city can we do it again let's find out we win the opening tip off as i crack open the mountain dew and the crowd wastes no time getting going cheering on their thunder Karakov off the floppy first play of the game that's a sloppy release to say the least miles turner brings down the board and opens up the scoring miles turner opens up the scoring with a big rebound filling in the shoes of odd Dermanenko pretty easily nick defending shea i like this matchup a lot more than bones on shea we're trying to play that off-ball pass. Jarris Walker posting up Miles Turner, one of the best paint defenders in the league. Shea moving off-ball. He gets an open three in the corner. Shea knocks it down. The Thunder officially are on the board here at the Paycom Center. Are they going to get the defense chance going? Yes, they are. Jaron Jackson going to set the screen for Nick Smith Jr. We're going to drop it off to Jaron. Foul! Jaron Jackson knocks down his first free throw, tying it up at three apiece here in the first minute in Oklahoma City, and he drains the second with ease. Jaron Jackson and Miles Turner split our first four points of the game, two apiece for our front court big men. Shea Goodless Alexander are going to be running the offense for Oklahoma City here in game two. They had a lot of play through Shea in game one. Will it work here in game two after the failed game one? It didn't for that possession. Nick Smith bringing it up. He hits the hezzy on Shea. We're going to get the screen from Miles Turner. Nick Smith Jr. stops. Okay. Oh, 
Nick Smith, step back. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're cutting that out. The spacing right now for this Thunder team is not ideal. Carrico on Giddy, Josh Hart moving off ball. We got to stay on Hart. Jairus Walker going to be pushing up Miles Turner once again. One of the best paint defenders in the league. Oh, that's that's Bar that's that's clamps. That's clamps. Shea cannot knock it down. Scotty brings down his first board of the game. Nick Smith Jr. We're going to settle in and run a fist 91 side here. The crowd is loud once again, just like game one where I can't really hear myself talk. Nick Smith. Oh, he knocks it down. Nick Smith defending Shea. Top of the key. Shea's been trying to do it all himself in this one. He's not going to be able to do that in game two. He did in game one where he scored 30-something and almost won the Thunder the game. But game two, it's not going to happen for him. Nick Smith Jr. gets around Shea, drops it off to Jared in the corner. That could be a bucket. No good. Nick brings it down and can't put it back. All right. Josh Hart. Scotty Barnes defending him in the mid-range around the elbow. Josh Hart just dribbling out this shot clock. Julius Randle moving off ball. Jaron Jackson's having none of it. Julius Randle gets a look at the cup. Oh my God, contested is good. Your sound still have a one point lead. We're gonna go to a fist 91 side on this possession. See if we can get a wide open look for just somebody. Ooh, Nick Smith, wide open tray ball. That's a good release too. And he knocks it down over the 12% contest. Nick Smith gets his first three. Nick on Shea, halfway through the first quarter. Julius Randle moving off ball. Shea wraps around Randle, nothing there. Josh Hart, deep three over Barnes. No good for the Thunder. They are chucking a lot of threes in front of their home crowd in this game, and it has not been working out in the Thunder favor. We have a two possession lead. We're running a screen off ball play. Miles Turner benefits, wide open three. That's a good release. No good by Miles Turner. Oh, what a block. What a block by Miles Turner on that. Shea Gildas Alexander layup. Nick Smith in transition. Giddy defending. Nick can't get around him, but we have a nice little matchup here. Giddy's not the greatest defender in the world. Ooh, out to Miles Turner. Miles Turner, shoot over Randall. Shoot over Randall. Give me that! Miles Turner off to an absolute blazer here in game two. Your sound are up three possessions already. 14 5 Seattle halfway through the first. We are cooking. Nick Smith Jr. We're up nine. We are dogging these boys. These boys cannot compete with us. Oh, we got a mismatch? Is that a mismatch? Jared Jackson on Julius Randle. Is it a mismatch? Offensive three? Offensive three? Halfway through the first quarter, it's a 14-5 sound lead. Shea Gilgis Alexander running the offense for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Jarris Walker kind of sets the screen. He just kind of stood there. Pull the deep three, bro. You're not about that. You're not about that action. Jairus Walker, you're going you're gonna go up on Miles Turner and rim take. That's not a that's not a wise idea. It's not. Julius Randle, defended by Jaron. I don't know what he's doing. What are they doing? God knows. I don't know. Nick Smith has been cooked. Not really cooking. He only has seven. Let's be real. They're getting quieter and quieter as the game goes on. Nick Smith, another pull-up midi is good. A 13-point sound lead. We're just running it up here at the Paycom Center. Jairus Walker. Hands it off to Julius Randle. Julius Randle trying to drive in and is met by Scotty Barnes and Jaron Jackson. Jairus Walker ends the drought for the Thunder, cutting our lead down to 11. Five to play in the first quarter. The Thunder finally score for the first time since like the 10 minute mark in the first quarter. Carrico, nobody sets good enough screens for him, so we're gonna have to cook with Nick. Jaron sets the big body. Miles Turner wide open in the corner. That's a bucket. Your sound are off to a trailblazing start here in Oklahoma City. They ha they seem like no match for us. I th Every time we played them this season, it felt like it was difficult to score on them. Granted, they're without Xavier Booker. Granted, they're without Chet Holmgren. But all season, it felt like scoring on the Oklahoma City Thunder was something we weren't able to do. But now they're leaving like Scotty Barnes wide open and Miles Turner wide open. And they're doing stuff like this. Like, this is why I say the regular season doesn't matter because the real Gs are made in the playoffs. Come on now. Nick Smith, another pull up midi is good. The sound lead is now up to 14. Nick Smith outscoring the entire Thunder team. 13 for Nick, 11 for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Four to play in the first quarter, and this game isn't necessarily close. Tyron AK taking Jaron off the dribble. Oh my God, the under the like five footer, Tyron AK gets the gets the lay to go over the seven footer, Jaron Jackson. Nick Smith Jr. and shot take is going to be a ton of fun. Hunt, what what are you doing, Hunt? You have one of the best 
one of the best defenders, period, defending you, and you think a little a little ball fake is going to do something? Paul Woods? Pa blocked by Jaron. Come on, OKC. Act like you've been here before, Oklahoma. You guys were in the finals last year. Act like you've been here. Okay, now they're acting like they've been here. They just blocked Nick Smith. I shouldn't have went up to the cup with it with Nick Smith, but, I mean, it is what it is. Jarris Walker. We got the best paint defense in the league. Come on now. They keep trying to force it at the rim. But we literally have the best paint defense in the league. Nick Smith throws it down. We're up to an 18-point lead. We could have 40 in the first quarter. Two minutes to play in the first quarter. Your sound lead is up to 16. Nick Smith defended by Paul Woods. He gets doubled. Okay, he gets doubled. Jaron, you can't just stand at hash, my boy. You cannot stand at hash. That is so aggravating. I don't understand why I'm getting doubled by Jaron Jackson's man, and he sits at the hash instead of clearing out to make space so Nick can cook and shot take. Like, Nick's in shot take. If I'm getting doubled and you are wide open, I'm going to find you. I don't see the point of sitting at the hash like Jaron was. Tyron AK misses another three, but I just don't see the point of sitting at the hash like he was right there. Look it. Great spacing, extra pass. Look at that, wide open three. He missed, but that's what I'm talking about. If you clear out and I get doubled, someone's bound to be wide open. And on that play, he was. Karakov right off the offensive rebound, throws up the midi and knocks it down. Pretty much off the catch and shoot, but it was an unassisted catch and shoot, which is something I don't know if I've seen before, but hey, we take those. Why are we leaving Tyron AK? Oh my God, that's why. He just fucking airballed. Nick Smith blows by Paul Woods and throws it down. One-handed off one. Throws down the hammer. What a dunk. We're up 20 in the first quarter. It feels like one injury has derailed this entire playoff series for them. Granted, if you're up 2-0, that means nothing. The Bucks were down 2-0 in the NBA Finals and came back and won four straight. They were down 2-0 against Brooklyn and won in seven. So, like, anybody can win down 2-0. And Doc Rivers makes a point of losing whenever he's down 2-0. So, like, anyone can come back when you're down 2-0. But, like, when you're the one seed, losing two straight to open a series on your home floor is weird. Second quarter basketball here at Oklahoma City. Your sound lead by 23 coming into the second quarter. We have made zero subs so far in this game, but we're winning by a fuck ton right now. I might make a couple subs pretty soon, like maybe giving Chester Lewis a run or even Pat Connaughton a run. But as of now, I don't see changing something that's not broken. Jaron Jackson, easy layoff. The Nick assist is good. We're up to a 23-point lead again, and Nick is up to 19-4. and four. Jaren's up to 4-7-3. and three. Let's cook. Karakov defending Giddy. Three minutes into the second quarter, and this game is slowly blowing out of proportion. 19 points through the first quarter is ridiculous for the Oklahoma City Thunder. That is definitely, I don't know, for a one seed, 19 points through a quarter is kind of ridiculous. Oh, Nick Smith almost loses it. Scotty Barnes, defended by Saponier. Can Scotty Barnes get one? Nope. No, no, no. We just got to get something easy here. Get something easy here. Eat something easy. Jared, put it up. Bang! Nick Smith defending Shea. Everyone has been helping out around here in uh in the Paycom Center. Game two, You can, this is like a completely different story from game one. They're without Chet Holmgren. So we're feasting at the paint. But I mean... They still have Shea and Giddy, and they still have an insanely deep team. They're only without two players. They're without, um, they're without Xavier Booker, and they're without Holmgren. That doesn't take away all of your offense. You still have Shea, who is the best player on the team. You still have Giddy. You still have Julius Randle. Like, your team isn't terrible just because you're missing Holmgren and because you're missing um, Xavier Booker. Even though both of those players are generational in this game right now, but I, I don't know. I feel like they dropped off too much. We're going to get Nick Smith a little bit of a break for Markel Fultz. And then we're going to give Scotty Barnes a break for Pat Connaughton. I'm tempted to bring in Johnny Tabroni. I'm tempted to bring in Johnny Tabroni for um, this second quarter just to get our starters a little bit of a break. But we're also starting to waver. So I don't know. I think I'm going to bring... No, no, no. We're only up 20. I'm going to keep uh, Miles Turner and Jaron Jackson out there as well as Austin Carrico. Carrico... Spark that bitch up. Give me that. Okay. The Thunder cut our lead down to 18 halfway through the second. 
Uh, Karakov has had two wide open threes, just has not been able to knock them down. Markel Fultz is finding him. Markel Fultz is finding him. He's just not converting. Give me a screen from Jaren. Roll, roll, roll. No, nothing there. Oh my god, this is horrendous, bro. This offense is terrible without Nick. All the starters are back out for the Seattle Sound because we got they got a little too close. They're, they cut our lead down to 18. That's a little too close for comfort right now. Shea gets a screen from Randall. Shea taking Nick Smith off the dribble. Runs right into Jaren, leaving Julius Randall open for the free throw line. Jay knocks it down, cutting our lead down to 16. Let's, let's run it back up. Let's run it back up, boys. Let's go, Seattle. Giddy knocks down a three. Our lead is cut down to 13. Let's get Nick some iso ball. Our, our lead was really big when Nick was playing iso ball, so we're going to try to get some more. Ooh, Miles Turner wide open for three. We're not playing iso ball when you give us that, but that doesn't go in. Shea wide open for three, cutting our lead down to 10. All the shit I talked about the Thunder is going out the window right now as they cut our lead down to 10. We were up 20. For the longest time and now this crowd is back the thunder crowd is back in the building nick not able to get anything nothing at all for nick giddy open for three bang the thunder are hot the seven point or the 25 point sound lead has evaporated to seven josh art walks out of bounds in team take oh we're in team take two let's rock let's rock we're in team take two let's do this damn thing Let's do the damn thing. Karakov and take. That's a good release. Good bucket. Both teams in team take. They took out Shea. They took Shea out in team take. Really? Really OKC. Really. Julius Randle posting up Miles Turner. Julius Randle taking him off the dribble. Driving in. In rim take is wild. Carrico for three over Tyron AK. He gets the trade to go two to play in the first half. Your sound leads back up to 14 and Nick is almost what has. He almost had the first half double double. Randall sets the screen for Paul Woods. Randall pops out for the tray. Chucks it up. No good. Miles Turner pulls down the rebound. He finds Nick Smith Jr. in transition. Nick Smith Jr. has a mismatch, but so does Miles Turner. Let's post him up. Oh, we could post up Jaron too on Josh Hart. Someone's open. That person is Karakov. Miles Turner's open now. That's a good release. Really? Nick Smith got himself some rest, and so did Karakov. We're back here in the second half with an 11 point lead. Hopefully, we can continue to build on that and not let the Thunder get too close for comfort. Shea driving in, runs into Miles Turner. We forced a miss. Oh, giddy. Giddy, what a shot. Cutting the sound lead down to seven. Okay, let's cook here. Karakov not having the greatest game of his life. He only has uh, 18 points on 16 shots. Jaren, that's a good roll. Pop it up. Ah, come on. Reset. Reset. Really? Really? Shea working in transition. Shooting over Nick. Bang, our lead's down to two possessions. Nick floater over Shea off glass. No good. 10 minutes to play in the third. We're on a two minute drought. We have yet to score in this third quarter. Jarris Walker posting up Miles Turner. Jarris Walker out to Giddy. Jaron Jackson defending Giddy. Jaron Jackson moving pretty well on that guard. Jarris Walker taking Miles Turner off the dribble. That's great defense. And one. Josh Hart moving behind Shea. Shea at the wing. I see Giddy moving. Shea gets uh, Jarris Walker kind of just taking up space. We got to. Stay close, stay close, stay close. Oh, great defense. Great defense, Jaren. Wow! The Thunder take their first lead since the first quarter. Wow! Scotty Barnes cannot get it to go with the mismatch on Josh Hart. Our offensive drought continues, and this Thunder crowd is loud and alive at the Paycon Center. Julius Randle driving in. No good. Austin Carrico pulls down his second board of the evening. Jaren Jackson mismatch on Giddy. Jaren Jackson, can he get our first bucket of the third quarter he does thank you eight to play in the third giddy left wide open for three and he drains it my defense there with carico was ridiculous we're gonna run a floppy here nick defended by shea we trail by two halfway through the third give me a floppy come on run it run it run it come on austin come on austin
Miles Turner puts us back in the lead. 18 and 12 for Miles Turner. And Nick Smith pulls down his 10th assist. 19 and 10 for Nick Smith Jr. Your sound are up to seven to play in the third. OKC chance rumbling throughout the Paycom Center. Shea cuts to the rim. Jarris Walker no good. Ooh, Miles Turner gets Jarris Walker to jump and he gets the wide open lay to go. 20 and 12 for Miles Turner. You'll love to see Miles Turner picking up the slack from Aden Dermanenko's season ending injury. You'll love to see our guys picking up where we left off as well. Oh, that should have been a steal. It should have been a steal. I'm going to give Chester Lewis a run at the five. Markel's going to run the one. Nick is going to run the two. Jay Sean Tate is going to run the four. Scotty and Nick are going to play the entire game, all 48 minutes. We're going to give some backup guys some run. Markel Fultz on the ball. Jay Sean Tate, let's see what you can do. Let's see what Jay Sean Tate's all about. Actually, Markel Fultz. Markel! Bro, how did the unpluckable badge come up if the man just got plucked? Chester Lewis, his first playoff appearance, and he gets a little baby hook to go for the Seattle Sound. Paul Woods defended by Markel, goes to Tyron AK over to Saponiak. Scotty Barnes there, Paul Woods moving off ball, Paul Woods at the wing. There goes Hunt, Hunt sets the screen. Jay Sean Tate tries to switch, Hunt blows by, J oh Nick, what a steal. Go Chester, okay Chester, or not, pop out Chester. Pop out for the mid. Oh, his release is incredibly slow. Jay Sean Tate mismatch on Paul Woods. Jay Sean Tate throws it down. His first bucket of this game and his first bucket of the playoffs is on Paul Woods off of the Markel assist. Tyron AK. Nick Smith there. Paul Woods contested three over Fultz again. No good. Paul Woods is just pulling any shot he can get his little grubby mitts on. Markel Fultz using his size to just lay it in over Paul Woods. Our lead's back up to two possessions. Markel Fultz. This 91 side. Doesn't matter the contest. Markel Fultz gets to the rim and gets a layup to go. Four points for Markel. Our lead is up to three. Tyron AK hands it off to Paul Woods in the so fresh, so clean, clean mint Jordan ones. Jarris Walker sets the screen. Chester Lewis does a great job switching there. Sapon Yik left wide open because apparently Scotty Barnes thinks that's his man. The Thunder now in team take as they trail by five. Tyron AK defended by Nick. Chester Lewis. No easy buckets when Chester's around. I love that. Nick Smith over Tyron AK in fucking lock take. Nick is him. It doesn't matter how fatigued Nick Smith Jr. is. That man is going to get his. It don't matter. Nick Smith up to 21 and 13 through three quarters. 45 seconds to play. Jay Sean Tate gets cooked by Julius Randle. Markel over Paul Woods gets it to go. Our lead's up to five, six point sound lead. Paul Woods bringing it up with 10 seconds to play in the third. Paul Woods in play take, finds Randall. Julius Randall gonna take Jay Sean Tate off the dribble and he gets it to go. Can we get one before the end of the half? Hit it to Scotty Barnes. Scotty Barnes has two, okay, not even fucking close. Nick Smith's gonna get a slight rest to start this fourth quarter. We're gonna take a timeout right at the start of four. We lead by three. We need Nick rested down the stretch. Markel is gonna carry us for probably the first five minutes of the fourth until Nick has enough rest to start to finish out the game. Let's win this one. Giddy, defended by Karakov. Karakov picks him up at half court. Josh Hart moving off ball. Giddy, Julius Randle, po oh, Karakov, what a steal. I don't know how many steals Karakov has right now, but he is cooking. Scotty Barnes defended by Josh Hart. I wanted the spin. It doesn't matter. Off glass is good. Scotty Barnes has been awfully quiet offensively. He only has four and five coming into this fourth quarter, but our lead's up to seven, and he has been clamping Josh Hart defensively. So I can't really complain when Jaron's doing it all on the defensive end if he's not, or if Scotty's doing it all on the defensive end if he's not scoring. He is doing the dirty work on defense. We're going to bring Nick Smith back in. He's up to 75% stamina. We're going to take a timeout. We have two remaining. 
We lead by five. Bring in our top scorer. And let's win this fucking game in OKC. Let's head back to our home floor with a 2-0 lead. Nick Smith Jr. checks back in. And he is defended by Shea. These two leading their respective franchises. Hopefully Nick can get something on Shea on this possession. Nick Smith Jr. Post fade over Shea. Not close enough to green. Oh, Jaren. What a slam. Nick finds him and he just throws it on the head of Sapunyik. We are cooking right now halfway through the fourth seven and a half to remains in this fourth quarter in game two the thunder fans are loud we lead by five let's lock in nick smith blows by shea and gets the dunk nick smith has shea looking stupid and he off to two-handed slam he's up to 23 Shea floater, no good. Nick pulls down his fifth board of the game. We're going to call ISO. He gets the switch on to Josh Hart. We're just going to go right by him and lay it in. 25 for Nick Smith. His bully badge is working today. Nick defending Shea. Shea driving in. Julius Randle trying to post up Miles Turner, but there's no... Oh, Shea just pulls it. No good. Nick Smith and f***ing one. Come on, Nick. Nobody can guard this man. Nobody can f***ing guard this man. Our lead is about to be up to double digits for the first time in the second half. There it is. Nick's up to 28 and 14. The lead's up to 10. We could go up 2-0. Ooh, Scotty Barnes with the steal. Nick Smith in transition. He hits Shea with the hez. He moves him out of the way and slams it down. Come on, Nick. My plan is working to perfection. We rested Nick for the start of the fourth. We rested him for the end of the third. And he comes in the fourth quarter and is dogging. Nick Smith up to 39 points in this fourth quarter alone. And it's like two minutes of play in this fourth quarter. Our lead is up to 12. Shea passed it down to Randall. Julius Randall answers the Nick Smith slam with a slam of his own. Julius Randall could be up to 30 at this point. He has played phenomenal basketball here in Oklahoma City. Shea defending Nick Smith Jr. We're going to get a Jaren screen. Nick Smith. Give it to Jaren. We'll take that. Nick Smith Jr. shaking bake on Shea Gildas Alexander. 32 points for Nick Smith Jr. What a goddamn closing get closing performance by Nick Smith Jr. My God. Okay, five to play. We lead by seven. We need some Nick Smith action here. We need some Nick Smith action here. Let's go. ISO. ISO, get out the way. Nick Smith Jr. Oh my God. Nick Smith Jr. Okay, here we go. This is where legends are made. This is where legends are made. Oh my God. They're going to give me that? They're going to give me that? Really? Really, OKC? You're just going to give me that? We take those. Like taking candy from a baby. We're getting the double. We're getting the double. Okay, back to Nick. Back to Nick. Are they doubling? No, they're not. What a pass. What a pass and what a shot from Scotty Barnes. Our lead is up to 13. Two and a half to play in the fourth of game two. This one could be over. Time out, Oklahoma City. The Thunder need to act fast. Shea, Giddy hands it off to Shea. Shea trying to run into Miles Turner. Oh, that's it. That's it. That is wraps here in Oklahoma City. Two and a half to play. Your sound lead by 13. No chance. This this Thunder crowd knows this game is wraps. Chicken wraps. Nick Smith Jr. fouled and he goes to the line with a chance to get 38. Sloppy defending my Oklahoma City, sending the best player on the floor to the line. If we were in Seattle, he'd be getting those MVP chants. 38 points for Nick Smith Jr. and a 15 point sound lead to close this one out. And just to rub salt in the wounds of the Oklahoma City Thunder, we're in shot take with Nick. Come on! And that's it. The Thunder can't get a bucket to go with two to play. We lead by 15. Nick Smith Jr. in shot take. He's going for 40. Nick is going for 40, defended by Shea. We take Shea off the dribble. Nick Smith Jr. That's a good release. 
Oh my god, Nick just rubbing salt in the wound. Nick Smith feeling it down the stretch. 40 and 16. He puts us up 17. This one is over. Your Seattle Sound take a 2-0 series lead. Two wins in Oklahoma City, and that's all it takes. We go back to Seattle, and we could advance to the Western Conference Finals for the first time since our title-winning season three seasons ago, which is Nick Smith Jr.'s rookie year where he got snubbed of the uh, Western Conference MVP where Ben Simmons – or actually, no, he won Western Conference MVP. He lost – he got snubbed of Finals MVP, even though the man was dropping 40 and 50 points in every Finals game. The final score is 126-111. Julius Randle was their best player with 29-14 and 14 with only 10 missed shots on 24 attempts. Giddy with 20, Shea with 19, and Jarris Walker 18-13. and 13. Our side of the ball, Nick Smith Jr., 42-16, and 16, 17 for 30 from the field. Nick Smith Jr. was Timothy in this game. Miles Turner as well, 24-12 and 3 blocks with 10 for 16 from the field. Absolutely ridiculous. Austin Karakov, 20-10, and 10, not great efficiency whatsoever, but he turned it around in the second half. Jaron Jackson, 12-11 for a steal and a block on 4 for 7 from the field. Fultz with 8 points, 3 assists. He picked up some slack with uh, Nick Smith off the floor. And then 7-6 and six with a steal for Scotty Barnes and a huge 3 down the stretch. He was a plus 22, even though the man barely did anything offensively. What he brings that doesn't show up in the box score is ridiculous. And that wraps up today's episode. We take a 2-0 series lead over the Thunder, and it looks like the Rockets take a 2-0 lead over the Spurs as well. In the next one, we got Game 3 in Seattle, and if we win Game 3, we're going to simcast Game 4. That's all I'm saying. If you enjoyed it, always make sure to love down below. It's Freelance Community Grow on the Road to 5K, and as always, I love you all. You're beautiful. Peace.